meeting and surpassing all audience expectations every day. And that is no mean feat. I am Rush Limbaugh, America's real anchorman and America's truth detector, here on the EIB Network on Friday. Live from the Southern Command in sunny South Florida, it's Open Line Friday! Fastest week in media. Already here we are at Friday and another week of NFL playoffs. The, the Peyton Mannings do play this week. They play the San Diego Chargers. And you want to hear an interesting stat. This is one of those just off-the-wall statistics that you would never bet on it, but it is kind of interesting. The last four, now listen to me very carefully, the last four Super Bowl winners were the opposing team for the Philadelphia Eagles home opener that year. That means if that holds, the San Diego Chargers are going to win the Super Bowl this year because the San Diego Chargers were the visiting team for the Philadelphia Eagles home opener this year. Is that some stat or is that some stat? The last four Super Bowl winners were the opposing team for the Philadelphia Eagles home opener not the first week game, the first game the Eagles had at home in that, in that season. And the Chargers are playing the Peyton Mannings. I think that's Sunday. Tomorrow's games, you got the New Orleans Aints, Saints. <laughs> Shows you how far back I go. The Saints are at the Seahawks. 100% chance of rain. Flash flood watch. Winter storm watch. 100% chance of rain. 45 degrees in Seattle. I don't know. The uh, the Seahawks manhandled the Saints in week 13, like 37 to 13 or 34 to 13. So it's not going to be like that again. The, the invincibility of the Seahawks at home is gone because the Cardinals beat them in the last week of the season. And it was the first time the Seahawks had lost at home in uh, two years. Yeah. And then Saturday night, you have um, uh, the Andrew Lux versus the Tom Brady's. You got the Colts at the uh, at the at the New England Patriots, and that'll be the eight o'clock. I haven't looked at the weather on that. I'll have to look at the weather on that game. I haven't looked at the weather on that game. Uh, not that it'll matter, uh, but it's it's just that's just such a tough. You know, you've got Bill Belichick who could uh, come up with a defensive scheme that Andrew Luck hasn't seen, but does he have the players to pull off the scheme? That's the. That's the thing. I mean, if it's, if it's what is it? Rain and wind. Well, but, yeah, but you you got to look at Foxborough, not Boston. Foxborough is closer to Providence. Visiting teams fly in and stay in Providence, Rhode Island, when they when they play the Patriots. Just a little trivia. Um, the Patriots have 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 not been invincible at home in the playoffs. Brady's not had his best year, but they're the Patriots. So, tough call. I'm going to reserve my uh, my pick. I might have to go environmentalist wacko on that pick. Um, and then the other Sunday game is the Fortiners at the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, you think the 49ers, but the Panthers have been, they've been sneaking up. They won their last 10 they have perhaps the best linebacker core in the NFL the second half of this season. Um, for those of you who watch it, the linebacker core now for the hipsters that call games on television, the second level. If you're watching some of these announcers on TV and they, well, that running back got to the second level. It's, what the hell is the second level? It means a linebacker made the tackle. If you hear that a team is going vertical, it means they're running straight down the field or throwing straight down the field. Um, if you hear that a wide receiver got great elevation on that pass, it means he jumped. Some of the stuff that's happening to the language 
with uh, it's not so much the game announcers it is the uh, color commentators.